Your Honor, Mr. Elusier became this uh, bad of it needed to be taken back. All right. One of those mornings. Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have two clips for you today. The first one is from Judge Jenny Hubach, and the second one is with Judge Justin Champagne, and they're both from the Municipal Court in Reno, Nevada. And there's a little bit of crazy running through the whole thing. I'll let you guys watch. Cassie Guerrero on standby, Michael Rorick. This is 24 CR 00927, obstructing and resisting an officer noncompliance. Ms. Burning? Your Honor, my client is going to plead no contest to that charge. Uh, I, this was a case with a false name. My client uh, would be asking, uh, I would be asking for credit for time served. If there's any jail time involved in this, Your Honor, I would ask that it be community service. That's what she requests. And uh, just to let the court know that she uh, did complete her GED. Very good. Ma'am, how do you plead to the obstructing and resisting? Um, do no. you have to speak out loud? No contest. All right. And do you have any questions about your constitutional rights? Um, can you just, uh, ma'am, yes, I had to go to work. I, I have a job. Okay, please listen to what I'm saying. I will talk to you afterwards, but I need to ask you some questions to make sure you understand your constitutional rights. So do you have any questions of me regarding your constitutional rights? What's the constitutional rights mean? Were you present for a video that was played this morning? Yes. All right. That video told you what your constitutional <laughs> rights are. Do you have any question about what that video contained? No. Are you a veteran of the U.S. military? No. And do you understand that if you are not a U.S. citizen, this could have negative immigration consequences? Yes or no? Yes. All right. I will accept your plea of no contest. City's recommendation, please. Your Honor, the, the city, based on the facts stated in the probable cause sheet, the city has concerns of potential drug use. So the city will be requesting a short suspended sentence of 30 days for one year on the condition of no alcohol and drugs and obey all laws. Ms. Burning? Your Honor, I my client's very young. And I, while I can understand the uh, city making that recommendation, I would still ask for credit for time. Official. I would still ask for credit for time served in community service. All right, Ms. Guerrero, what would you like to say? Um, can I please do um, community service? And you, you don't, I'm not gonna have you do any community service. I'm not gonna have you pay any fines, all right? But I am going to sentence you to a suspended sentence for one year in order you to obey all laws. No alcohol or drugs without a prescription. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. So that Again, 30 days, that, that 30 days will not be imposed unless you end up back in custody because you violated a law or you're using drugs or alcohol. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Am I getting released today? Yes. 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 Huh? yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Michael Warwick. <laughs> On standby, Virginia Marino. Your Honor, Mr. Rory, the refusal and Moreno had to be taken back to her unit. Okay. Hmm. All right. How about Raymond Siviera? And on standby, let's have Michael, and I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, so my apologies, Elucer. All right. Are you Raymond Severa? Raymond Severe. Severe. All right. 24 CR 00945, trespassing. Ms. Burning. Your Honor, my client would be pleading no contest to that charge. Um, 
he um, works as the, excuse me, she works as the temp. I would be asking for credit for time served in this case. This is also a trespass at RTC. All right. All right, do you have any questions about your constitutional rights? No. And are you veteran of the US military? No. Do you understand that, that if you're not a US citizen, this could have negative immigration consequences? Yes. And how do you plead? No contest. All right, I'll accept your plea of no contest. City's recommendation. Your Honor, the facts in this case are a little bit aggravated. The defendant had to be placed in a wrap. However, um, the city does not object to time served. All right, anything you want to say before I sentence you? Um, I was placed in a wrap, but I didn't argue or fight against them. They just put me in a wrap. All right, I'm going to sentence you to time served, but do not go to the bus station unless you're there <laughs> to take the bus, all right? No, but can I say one more thing? No, nope, that's it. Don't say okay. anything. Yeah, all right, it's great. Wonderful, bye. Goodbye. On standby, Mark Halpanger. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Elusier became just uh, combative and needed to be taken back. All right. One of those mornings, and they said that uh, that uh, Mr. Thomas was ready, so I'll work with whatever will work with your calendar. Well, why don't you go ahead? Okay, Jeffrey Thomas, 24 CR 00545. Come on up, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. Okay, so the way I understand it is uh, you were sentenced by me last week. Uh, I sentenced you to 180 days in the Washoe County Jail on a battery charge. Um, and I'm not sure if there's a, a, there was a kite stating that you wanted to appeal the ruling. So I know that Mr. Hartzell was the legal defender that day. I believe that it was Ms. Drake was the uh, city attorney. Um, are we, what are we doing today? Is this good? Is this a motion for reconsideration, Ms. Burning? Yes, Your Honor. I, and I would make it orally at this time. I would tell the court that I advised Mr. Thomas that it, this is the part that he wants to um, he wants the court to reconsider, and that is the um, his um, co defendant received 180 excuse me 120 days suspended with 30 days up front, and he received 180 days. It's Mr. Uh, Thomas's belief that he should have received the Thomas. same sentence of 120 days with 30 days up front rather than the 180 days that the court um, that the court has sentenced him to. He believes that that has occurred. So he's not, um, it's the length of the sentence between the two co-defendants as opposed to his culpability in the simple battery that he, he is contesting. All right. Very cogently stated. Uh, Ms. Yowell, anything that the city would like to add at this point? Yes, Your Honor. You were the judge at the sentencing. You heard the facts of the case. Um, the court understands that each defendant is different with a different criminal history. Pretrial risk assessment for this defendant was 12. I don't have the other person's history. And even if I did, I wouldn't be able to put it on the record being that they're not here. Um, so I believe the victim was present. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe the victim was present at sentencing. So I'm sure um, the court considered that as well. So the city submits that the court knows best. And with that, the city will submit it. Well, I, I always love when you submit that the court knows best. <laughs> so, and I'm sorry, Mr. Thomas, I and I'm not making light of this and I, I don't mean to smile uh, because this is a, a ser very serious matter to you. Uh, and it's a very serious matter to me. And I will, I wanna hear what you have to say and then um, I will certainly consider everything you have to say and I'll make a decision. Okay. Um, well, it, so initially, sir, uh, before I came before your court, I, I was in, um, uh, I, I don't know, a different judge's court. I'm not sure. Um, when I pled, but I was under the impression that, um, you know, me and my co-defendant were, were like, we had the same public defender or whatever, and he's seen both of us and, 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 I mean, we, I was under the impression that we were getting uh, the same sentence. And so uh, after she went and then, you know, maybe an hour later, whatever, I went in front of the judge 
And suddenly the public defender wanted to say that, oh, there's a conflict of interest because he represented. Um, wait, wait, no, 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 I'm not. Uh, that is way beyond the scope of anything that I want to hear about today. I don't want to hear okay. if there if and Ms. Burning, you can perhaps um, inform Mr. Thomas about that. If there's a, a claim where you're talking about an ineffective assistance of counsel, if you're talking about an unclaimed a claim of conflict of interest, something like that. Uh, there is no chance in the world that I am going to hear that argument today. Okay. If you want to say that I made an incorrect decision as to the length of your sentencing based on the facts that I was presented at court that day, then we can talk about that today. But I am not going to get into the legalities of, of your quality of, of representation or whether you were properly represented. That is not something that should be dealt with today. Does that make sense to you, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Is there, so can we move forward today? Is, are those your complaints? Are they more technical uh, uh, as to your lawyer and the quality of the representation? Or is it as to, you just think I made the wrong decision based on the facts of what was presented to me? Well, well I definitely think that, um, um, as far as culpability goes, I don't think that there was there was more or less between me or my co-defendant. I think that um, 180 days was a little extensive. I mean, I, like I've been doing anger management since I've been in here. I'm willing to continue anything like that. I mean, I haven't been in trouble in a long time uh, since like 2016. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot better just in, at life in general. You know, I was at the cemetery grieving and and I was in my emotions and and, you know, reacted out of character. Absolutely. But I, I definitely don't don't think that um, the amount of time is is representative of, of, of you know, the, the the incident, sir. OK. And and I think that that. Um, that's a valid argument that, that you're making, uh, and those are arguments that that certainly could have been made uh, at sentencing and that. Um, I'm no, I don't think that they were necessarily articulated in, in exactly the same way, but I'm going to articulate basically the same thing that that I said the last time. Uh, you've got 57 pages of criminal history. Uh, I can appreciate that you were in a grieving state of mind, but the guy that you punched was just a worker there at the cemetery. All he was trying to do was to close the cemetery out. Uh, you didn't like the way that he talked to you and your uh, co-defendant and you punched him in the face. That's unacceptable to me. That's this guy's just, stop, stop. I've given you more than enough opportunity. That was the same uh, guy, hey, stop. They arrested me at two o'clock. They weren't closed then. All right. Thank you. We're done. Cases, I'm, I'm reaffirming my 180 days. Uh, if I didn't make a statement as to you get credit for time, sir, for the time that you were arrested, uh, it is. And thank you, sir. You've just confirmed that I made the right decision the first time. Thank you. All right. And Ms. Burning and, and Ms. Yowell, um, I don't know if there's going to be an appeal that's actually filed. I know that my staff has spoken with Ms. Mayhew uh, and that she would be the uh, legal defender, I think, that's a, that's responsible for actually filing an appeal. Thank you, Your Honor. All I right. think that you heard thank the you appeal that you requested. Sorry, I'm, sorry. I'm just saying that I think you heard the request that he asserted. So, because he said the charge or the sentence. So, I, I think you heard it. Just, I think what you did is satisfies his request. Well, and, and if he wants to file an appeal, um, that's something that he and Ms. Ubach, or excuse me, me and, he and Ms. <laughs> Mayhew have to work out and figure out what to do in district court. Uh, Judge Hubach, I appreciate you letting me jump in on that. Oh, no problem, Judge. Nice to Thank see you. Thank you. With that second clip, the judge wasn't going to tolerate any crap from him. And when he started talking over him and saying stuff that I guess that was nonsensical, the judge just said, forget it. You're out. Go back to your cell. <laughs> and then the first ones, the, the ladies in the first one, I, well, the funny part was they were both so excited just to get out of jail. And then in between was these people that were too unruly and couldn't even be out there. <laughs> there were several of them that had to be taken back to their cells or wouldn't even come out. 
I just thought that was kind of funny. Thought you guys would enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.